I am Dennis Jones, Fire Chief for Tampa Fire Rescue. Thank you. And it is truly an honor to welcome Mayor Iorio and so many other special guests tonight. We have a great evening planned for you with many awards given to deserving individuals. We do host this banquet every year in the second week of October because of the significance of this week to the fire service being Fire Prevention Week. Recently this past year, in the month of August, we attended two funerals for members of our own TFR family. Driver engineer Glenn Rao on active duty at Station 1B. His family is here tonight, as well as retired District Chief Joe Wools, who was beloved by many. His family will also be here tonight, is here tonight. Together, we have helped each other deal with the loss of these brothers, and it does remind the survivors of the support network that is available to them. I am truly honored to have been chosen to direct this organization that is filled with so many outstanding individuals. Tonight, we recognize some of our own heroes, but I want you to know that I consider all of you to be heroes for the job that you do each and every day in the streets of Tampa. Tonight's the night that we come together and have our once a year family reunion. I wanna encourage you to come together as family, party responsibly, have a good time, enjoy ourselves, put all the other distractions aside for one evening, and let's just have a good time recognizing the special heroes tonight. I also wanna personally recognize my wife, Catherine, She's uh, the epitome of the fire department widow. She's been sitting alone at the table all evening while I've been <laughs> running around. <laughs> but uh, through my entire career, she has been faithful and stood by my side, and I do appreciate her support. <clears throat> Thank you. And at this time, let's stand for the colors, the presentation of colors. The Pledge of Allegiance and a special presentation by Monsignor Higgins. to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, Monsignor Higgins will come forward for a special presentation and the blessing over the meal. Please allow us to share with you the symbolism at this table that has been set for our fallen firefighters. The white tablecloth symbolizes the purity of their intentions to respond to their department's every call. The red rose is for those who made the ultimate sacrifice. They give their lives so others may live. The white rose is for those who witnessed and experienced 
the tragedy firsthand and are still with us. The slice of lemon is on the plate to remind us of their bitter fate. There is salt on that plate that is symbolic of the tears shed by friends and family. The glass is inverted for the can of toast with us. The chair is empty for they are not here, but let us not forget them. And let us pray. Lord, we're here this evening for the Tampa Fire Rescue 19th Annual Awards Banquet to honor and pay tribute to our firefighters and awardees of the year. We thank God for their concern for others, for their courage to share and endure the ordeals of those who need them, for their strength of body to deliver to safety all those placed within their care, for their wisdom to lead, their compassion to comfort, for the love to serve unselfishly when they are called. We ask your blessing on each and every one of them and their families, on our own Mayor Pam Iorio, our sponsors, and the food we're about to receive. Amen. The helmet that was placed at the memorial table this evening is that of driver engineer Glenn Rowell, and thank you for joining us and sharing in his remembrance. At this time, dinner will be served. Please enjoy yourself, and we'll be back up to see you in about 30 or 45 minutes. Welcome back once again. I'm Fire Chief Dennis Jones, and we're going to begin with our awards program. But first, I'd like to introduce a special guest here tonight, someone who places public service first in her life. I think the greatest mayor in the United States, my boss, Mayor Pam Iorio. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good to be with you. Well, good evening. Thank you very much. 
Good evening. It's always a, a favorite time of year for this banquet. It's an opportunity to say thank you for a job well done. And um, before I get started, I was sharing a table, of course, with uh, Police Chief Hogue, who's always so supportive, but also from St. Pete, there's Chief Large, and also Sheriff G was at our table. And I just want you to know how much I appreciate the fact that you've come tonight to honor our firefighters. Thank you very much. Do you know that in this past year, the firefighters have responded to over 66,000 alarms in the city of Tampa? That's remarkable. And there have been some real uh, challenges this year. For example, the four alarm fire in Ybor City, which but for the real professionalism of our fire department, that fire could have so easily have jumped to the Columbia restaurant and other buildings in Ybor City. It could have been a disaster for Ybor City, but because of the way in which you handled that fire, it was contained just to one building. The fires in downtown Tampa, which went to two buildings, is another example where that fire could have very easily spread throughout downtown. But again, the manner in which you handled that, it did not. We just recently had a huge uh, fire in the port of Tampa, three alarm fire. Again, the way you handle it, it's like no other fire agency, I think, in the country. So you've really had a lot of challenges this year, but I'm always absolutely confident that every time there's an alarm sounded, that you're gonna handle it in a professional way and go above and beyond. Tonight, we honor some special awardees who have gone above and beyond. And I want to say to all of those receiving an award tonight, congratulations, and to the family members, I know you're very, very proud, and you have every reason to be proud of your family member who is being honored tonight. And of course, I want to say a very special remarks to the family of Glenn Rao. It was very clear from his funeral service just how much he was loved by all of you. And I'd like to take just a moment to acknowledge uh, his mother, Estelle, as well as his brother and sister who are in attendance tonight. We will always appreciate his service. And of course, at the end of August, as the chief said, we lost retired District Chief Joe Rules, a 31-year veteran, and this evening, his wife, Debbie, as well as his son and daughter are in attendance, and we want them to know how much we appreciate his lifelong commitment to Tampa Fire. <laughs> We're ready to start the awards, and I just want to say once again how much I appreciate your dedication to the people of the city of Tampa. Our population in the city is 330,000, but on any given day, in the middle of the day, the population of our city swells to about 460,000. In fact, we rank third in the nation in terms of how large our population increases during the day. We rank third behind Washington, D.C. and Atlanta, Georgia. We're number three in the nation as to how large our population swells during the day because of visitors and commuters. And that's the population that you're protecting during the day. Not only the citizens, but the people visiting conventions and so forth. And you do it exceptionally well. I'm very proud to serve with you as your mayor. Very proud to serve with your fire chief, who I think is the very best there is. I'm very proud of all of you. Please keep up your great work. Thank you and good night. Thank you, Mayor Iorio. Now we are going to move to uh, one of the standards of the awards dinner, and that is our awards video. And we'll dim the lights for this presentation, and we're ready, Captain Wade, to roll the video.
Let's move on with the awards tonight. Our MC tonight, Lee Moody, sits in the Bay News 9 anchor, evening anchor chair, Monday through Friday. And she co-anchors the 7 o'clock news with Al Rochelle each weekend. Lee also introduces you to extraordinary people making a difference in our community in her Extra on Everyday Heroes reports. Viewers can see the special segment each Monday beginning at 5.53 a.m. Lee's one of the rare uh, individuals. She's a Bay Area resident, a Tampa native, went to East Lake High, and, uh, and she's anchored the weekend edition of the 7 o'clock news from 2002 until she took over the weekend anchor in January of 2005. Her broadcasting career has taken her from Florida to South Carolina to Michigan and back to Florida again. After earning her BA in broadcast journalism from the University of Central Florida, Lee joined the reporting staff at WKMG TV in Orlando. From there, she moved on to become a weekend anchor at WCSC TV in Charleston, South Carolina, then the main anchor at WEYI TV in Flint, Michigan, before coming to work for Bay News 9. While at WCSC in South Carolina, Lee won an Associated Press Award for investigative reporting. She earned another AP award for excellence in reporting hard news. Lee's married to Tampa Bay radio host, and he's here tonight, and dedicates most of her charity work to helping animals. She works most closely with the Humane Society of Tampa Bay and Pinellas Animal Foundation and the Humane Society of Pinellas. She emcees many of their events and gets the word about out about the needs of animals. But she's also worked with almost every animal society in the seven county viewing area of Bay News 9, and it's a passion that ranks up there with TV news for Lee. We're honored to have Lee as our MC tonight for tonight's award program. Please welcome our MC for this evening, Lee Moody. Wow, I do a lot. I didn't even realize that until we started reading it all. That sounds pretty good. All right, good evening, everyone. Um, as you may know, this is my second year hosting the Firefighter of the Year Awards. And when Chief Jones called and said, you know, we, we'd really love you to come back. Do you think you can fit that into your schedule? I was like, hmm, let me see. I got a room full of hot firefighters. You're hanging on my every word. Yeah, I think I can probably fit that into my schedule. So yeah, it's always great to come back here. You guys truly are like the best looking audience I have every year when I do my charity appearances. Truly, <laughs> I mean that. And not just because most of my appearances are with animals. Um, <laughs> you guys are also definitely some of the coolest. I, I'm sure a lot of you out there remember when I was out in the field as a reporter and I'd see you guys, what you always heard from me is complaining, oh, I hate reporting, I hate being out here, I wanna be behind the desk full time. Well, I am now and it, it's mostly awesome. But what I didn't realize, and the things I really do miss, is coming out and getting to see all the friends that I met at Tampa Fire Rescue on a regular basis. Um, so many of you have made such a, an impact on me. And I always knew in those afternoon and morning meetings, when I got my assignment, if I was going out, whether it was breaking news or a setup story of Tampa Fire Rescue, I was going to be taken care of, number one, and I was going to have a, um, excuse me, damn good time doing it. So <laughs> I miss seeing you guys all the time now, but at least I get to see you now here at this banquet, so I'm very glad to be here. It's a true honor to recognize all the great and heroic things that all of you do every day to keep us safe. And I know tonight at the end, we're only gonna have one winner, but in my eyes and the community's eyes, you definitely all are winners, for sure. So give yourselves a round of applause. And as you've looked around today, I know you've seen a lot of special guests. So right now I'd like to say thank you and recognize those special guests that are in the audience with us. We have Daryl Smith, our Chief of Staff, Bonnie Wise, Director of Revenue and Finance, Cindy Miller, the Director of Business and Housing Development, City Councilman and Chair of Public Safety, Thomas Scott, City Councilman John Dingfelder, City Councilman Charlie Miranda, David Smith, our City Attorney, our State Attorney Mark Ober was here, Public Defender's Office, from there, Julianne Holt, Steve Hogue, the Chief of the Tampa Police Department, Monsignor Lawrence Higgins, Lewis Miller from the Tampa International Airport, and of course, the Executive Staff for Tampa Fire Rescue, Scott Ellers, Assistant Chief of Operations, James Phillips, Assistant Chief of Administration, Todd Spear, the Fire Marshal, Charles Brown, the Airport Chief, 
Dennis Phillips, the personnel chief, Nick Losisiro, the rescue chief, Michael Gonzalez, special operations chief, and Chauncey Williams, the emergency coordinator. Thank you all for being here tonight to celebrate with us. And some other special guests we have here tonight, I'm gonna to bring them up to the stage. Jerry Spidel and Cheryl Floyd from the Regional Burn Center at Tampa General Hospital, they're here to make a special award presentation. So let's welcome them. Hello, my name is Jerry Spidel and this is my colleague Cheryl Floyd. We're both staff RNs at the Burn Center at um, Tampa General Hospital. Um, I was given the privilege this year of coordinating Camp Hopataki, which many of you are familiar with. Um, Camp Hopataki was a huge success this year. Tampa Firefighter Local 754, in conjunction with Tampa General Hospital, hosts a camp for previously burnt injured children for a week-long camp experience. This year we hosted 38 children ages 5 to 17 that included many activities and visits to three area theme parks. It takes commitment and dedication to make this camp experience happen. I would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the outstanding work of your fellow firefighters with, with I'm sorry, without which Camp Hopitaki would not be the success that it is today. I am pleased to present Captain Russell Spicola with the Outstanding Volunteer Award. Captain Spicola is genuinely dedicated to the camp experience and to the children. He was chosen to chaperone 15-year-old um, Cole Schweinsberger at National Burn Camp in Washington, D.C. this year. Um, Russell and Cole had a wonderful, fun-filled, exciting week. Russell works tirelessly to provide a safe, fun, atmosphere for the campers. I am honored to present Captain Russell Spicola with the Outstanding Volunteer Award. <laughs> Additionally, this year, Camp Hopataki has lost three of its valued, I'm sorry, dedicated founding members. Truly, Camp Hopataki would not exist without these firefighters. As a representative of Camp Hopataki team, I am honored to present the Lifetime Service Award to Assistant Chief James P. Phillips, District Chief Gary Howcroft, and Captain Bob Barnett. Thanks to their vision and leadership. Thanks to their vision and leadership, Camp Hopataki has just celebrated its 17th year with many more years to follow. They will truly be missed. Thank you. Congratulations to all of them. And for all of you who were here last year, we made it through without anybody crashing the stage. That's pretty good. Shout out to Cowboy who couldn't be here tonight. I miss him. Now we're gonna announce the awards. And if Chief Dennis Jones can come up here to help me with the presentation, I'm gonna hand out some hardware. Our first presentation is an award of appreciation for Mr. Jack Gorman and Mrs. Loretta Longstreth. Accepting on their behalf is Lewis Miller, Executive Director of TIA. And as I bring your, mention your names, just go ahead and come up to the stage. Mr. Gorman and Mrs. Longstreth work at the Hillsborough County Aviation Authority in Acquisition and Relocation Office. Over the past several years, they've been instrumental in obtaining buildings for firefighters to use as live hands-on training facilities. Firefighters use these vacant buildings for many different learning scenarios, including firefighter safety and survival training. Using actual businesses and warehouses makes the training much more effective. Thank you, Jack Gorman and Loretta Longstreth for assisting with the training needs of Tampa Fire Rescue and accept this award of appreciation. And thank you, Lewis Miller, for accepting it. <laughs> Tampa Fire Rescue truly appreciates the businesses that support the mission of the department, as well as this awards banquet. The next award goes to a family and a company that does both. Would Jim and Judy Stepp, along with their friends and family that are here with them, please come up front to receive the Tampa Fire Rescue Allegiance Award. Jim and Judy Stepp, along with their entire family and business, are strong supporters of this community and of Tampa Fire Rescue. In addition to being sponsors of the Firefighter of the Quarter and of this awards banquet, Stepp's Towing is regularly called upon to provide wrecked cars for extrication training and for demonstrations. 
At emergency scenes where large trucks or fuel tankers are overturned, their drivers respond quickly and work closely with rescuers to help safely clear the roadways. Thank you, Jim, Judy, and the entire staff at Steps Towing for all of your dedication. Accept this Allegiance Award in honor of your work. On July 19th, a neighbor's actions saved a disabled man from certain death in a burning apartment. Would Mr. Bernard Clemens please start to come up front? It was nearly lunchtime on July 19, 2007, when a fire broke out at the Pebble Woods Apartments on North 52nd Street. Bernard Clemens saw that his next door neighbor's apartment was on fire. Mr. Clemens grabbed a fire extinguisher and broke open the front door of the burning apartment. That apartment was full of smoke and the fire was too big to be snuffed out by a portable extinguisher. Mr. Clemens knew the man who lives in the apartment uses a wheelchair to get around. He quickly searched the apartment and found the disabled man in the bedroom. Mr. Clemens carried that man outside to safety. According to fire investigators, Mr. Clemens' actions saved that man's life. For this heroic and selfless act, Mr. Bernard Clemens is presented Tampa Fire Rescue's highest civilian award, a Certificate of Merit Gold. Okay, it's hard to make a news anchor get misty, but you guys can do it, so. Ah, all right. We have two Lifetime Achievements Awards to present. Would Captain J.D. Bibiloni and Captain Russell Spicola please come to the front? To put together an awards banquet such as this, it takes time and energy for many good men and women who volunteer their time. Captain Bibiloni served on the awards review board for 16 years, serving as treasurer and also making sure the awards presentation ran smoothly. Captain Spigola served several years as the chairperson of the Awards Review Board. The hours he dedicated over the years are immeasurable. For their selfless dedication to their careers and to this banquet, we wish to present Captain J.D. Bibiloni and Captain Russell Spicola with Lifetime Achievement Awards and our thanks for a job very well done. Our next presentation is a Certificate of Merit. Would Firefighter Mitchell Smith of Robles Park, Engine 5, B Shift, please come to the front. <laughs> He's a popular fella. <laughs> On April 10, 2007, Firefighter Smith and his crew had just finished extinguishing a house fire. Firefighter Smith said he detected an odor of smoke in the air and he was insistent what he smelled was not the stench of the freshly extinguished fire. After some searching around the area, the fire crews noticed smoke coming from the vacant house across the street. This second house fire was immediately extinguished. Both fires were determined to be arsons. Thanks to Firefighter Smith staying alert, the second house only suffered minor damages. Firefighter Mitchell Smith is presented the Certificate of Merit Bronze. Our next award tonight goes to paramedic Jason Doherty and accepting on his behalf tonight, Captain Kenny Shields. While off duty and driving through Polk County, paramedic Doherty came upon a car accident in which a man was very seriously injured. Paramedic Doherty, without regard for his own safety, began providing medical care for the critically injured man. Paramedic Doherty continued to provide medical care to the man even after arrival of the EMS units and all the way to the hospital. Thanks to paramedic Jason Doherty, the man eventually made a full and complete recovery. Paramedic Doherty placed his personal safety at risk to help a stranger. And for this, we award a certificate of merit gold to paramedic Jason Doherty. And thank you, Captain Shields, for accepting it. For our next presentation, will paramedic Reynold Cruz Sr. please come up front. 
While off duty on February 17, 2007, paramedic crews saw a pedestrian struck by a car on Nebraska Avenue. The pedestrian was seriously injured, unconscious, and lying in the middle of the street. Paramedic crews quickly took control of the situation by directing bystanders to assist with patient care, crowd control, and traffic control while he began to treat the patient. Paramedic crews continued helping with patient care after arrival of on-duty crews. For his quick actions and selfless act, we award paramedic Reynold Cruz with a certificate of merit gold. And we have another certificate of merit to hand down to this one for driver engineer Rick Acosta, if he'd please come up front. <laughs> driver engineer Acosta is receiving this award for the medical care that he rendered to a seriously injured woman. While off duty, he came upon a horrific car crash and placed himself in jeopardy to help a woman who was unconscious and not breathing. The care provided by driver engineer Acosta kept her alive until EMS crews could arrive and take her to the hospital. Thanks to driver engineer Acosta, the woman survived her life-threatening injuries and is slowly recovering from her accident. For stopping to help this woman at her time of need, driver engineer Rick Acosta is hereby awarded a certificate of merit gold. Our next award is an esprit de corps for Carl Wolf, Toby James, Steve Brand, Wally Hoyt, and Brian Mobley. Please make your way up front. Sylvia Hatfield has been a resident of East Tampa for many, many years. Her house was very close to Tampa Fire Rescue Station 16, and she developed a good relationship with the crews at the fire station, earning the nickname Firehouse Mom. Mrs. Hatfield recently decided to move into an apartment at Tampa Baptist Towers. In a letter to the fire chief, she wrote, Carl Wolf, Toby James, Steve Brand, Wally Hoyt, and Brian Mobley worked off duty to help me move into my first apartment, made improvements to my home, and then subsequently moved me again when a larger apartment became available. Mrs. Hatfield concluded her letter with, these men acted in a selfless way to help an old friend, and I want you to know they're truly appreciated and are a credit to your department. For helping a wonderful resident of Tampa, these men are awarded an esprit de corps. Our next esprit de corps goes to firefighter Leo Inez Galura and Lieutenant Natalie Brown. Please come up to the front to accept this award. In May 2007, Lieutenant Brown and firefighter Inez Galura were assigned to rescue 18. They arrived at a house fire where they were told a person was trapped inside. The rescue team quickly searched the smoky, burning house and located a woman inside. They carried the woman outside to safety where other paramedics treated her and took her to a local hospital where she recovered from her injuries. Their supervisor notes, although all the responding fire companies aided in the successful rescue, Lieutenant Brown and firefighter Inez Galura are especially deserving of recognition for their outstanding performance and bravery. You are both a credit to your profession and for your actions. You are now awarded the Esprit de Corps. And at this point, this is the big highlight of the evening. It's time to present our Firefighter of the Year Award. And before we start, we'd like all previous Tampa Firefighters of the Year to please stand and be recognized at this time. Get on up there. <sighs> And now it's time to introduce you to Tampa's Firefighters of the Quarter for 2007 and then announce the Tampa Firefighter of the Year. When I call your names, please just stand at your table to be recognized and remain standing until we announce all of the candidates. 
First, paramedic Jason Doherty is assigned to Fire Station 18 in East Tampa. While off duty, we told you how he came across a very serious car accident and he helped with the patient care at the scene and all the way to the hospital. Additionally, during paramedic Doherty's six years with Tampa Fire Rescue, he's distinguished himself as a member of the tactical response team and as an outstanding medic and firefighter. Unfortunately, he could not attend, but let's give him a round of applause. Our next candidate, Captain Bill Wade, has been with Tampa Fire Rescue since 1981. During this time, he served the department in a variety of positions, most currently as the public information officer. Captain Wade's constant contact with the public through the news media, City of Tampa Television, and other programs has helped to inform and educate the public about the many aspects of Tampa Fire Rescue, and this is a benefit that cannot be easily measured. Our next firefighter of the quarter, Captain Russell Spicola, is a name that we've heard earlier this evening. During his 22 years of service, Captain Spicola has distinguished himself through his unselfish dedication to the community and his colleagues through his active participation in various organizations and groups. Captain Spicola has committed his life to serving his family, his profession, and his community. And finally, our last candidate, driver engineer Rick Acosta of Hyde Park Fire Station number three. He's been on the job for 21 years. Recently, while off duty, he stopped and assisted a woman seriously injured in a car accident. Driver engineer Acosta was also recognized for his commitment to his friends and coworkers as he has unselfishly volunteered his personal time and energy to help the family of a firefighter who was seriously ill for an extended period of time. All right, I know the suspense is killing all of you. The big announcement. Our firefighter of the year is Captain Russell Spicola. And if your wife could please join you up front as well, Captain Spicola, get your lovely other half up here. During his 22 years of service, Captain Russell Spicola has distinguished himself through his unselfish dedication to the community and his colleagues through his active participation in various organizations and groups. His contributions include serving the past five years as a campler at Camp Hopataki, a summer camp for children who've suffered serious burn injuries. Serving for 12 years on the awards review board, three years as the chairman serving for six years on the Firemen's Benevolent Association, two years as vice president, serving on the Tampa Fire Rescue Sick Bank Committee for 12 years, serving as the department representative and coordinator for the Florida Firefighter State Games held in Tampa in 1995 and 2001, serving as Santa for the Muscular Dystrophy Association the past two holiday seasons, ho, 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 serving as a member of the Firefighters Union Executive Board for four years and as a union secretary for four years serving as the fire department's accreditation officer for 18 months, serving as the parent club president at the St. Lawrence School for two years, and serving as a golf coach at the Academy of Holy Names for five years. Captain Spicola has committed his life to serving his family, his career, and his community. Tampa Fire Rescue is proud to take this opportunity to thank him for all of that dedication and leadership. Everyone, your firefighter of the year, Captain Russell Spicola. And besides all of your respect, he gets a lot of like swag too, don't forget this. Bill Curry and Danny Lewis of Bill Curry Ford will take him and several guests on Mr. Curry's yacht for an all day fishing trip. 
The awards committee gives him a hundred bucks, hundred dollar check, and a complimentary room at the Weston Tampa Harbor Island. And also our firefighter of the year receives the Chris Lum trophy and a trophy from Steps Towing. Congratulations. And you know, a night like this, as special as this is, and, and all of you having so much fun and such great food and everything out there, it takes a lot of people to get this done. And at this time, we want to say our special thanks to everyone that has helped put this together. First, our awards review board committee. We have Anthony Bibiloni, Debbie Lawton, George Lee, Michael Martinez, Tammy Miragulli, Maureen Patricio, Johnny Primus, William Townsend, and Glenn Warner. Give them a big round of applause. Thank you. And then looking around the room, we have our table sponsors. We couldn't do this without you. Let's recognize Joe Durkin from Bright House Networks, Richard Ghent from CF Industries, Doug Woods from the Firemen's Benevolent Association, Doug Woods, also crew of St. Florian, he's a big giver, Carolyn Zangle, Nationwide Solutions, Andrea Burnett, Sykes Enterprise, Jim and Judy Stepp, Steps Towing, Ron Seagram, Service Master, Lewis Miller from Tampa International Airport, Andrix Frazier from Tampa Electric Company, Larry Parker from Tampa Firefighters Local 754, Ron Hightoff from Tampa General Hospital, Dan Bauer from 108 Fire Equipment, and West Central Florida Police Benevolent Association, Kevin Durkin is here. All of you all, we couldn't do it without you. Thank you. And then we have special thanks tonight to Danny Lewis and Bill Curry Ford. They're the sponsor of the Firefighter of the Quarter. Tom Wagner from the Florida Aquarium, also a Firefighter of the Quarter sponsor. Another sponsor for Firefighter of the Quarter, Steve Michelini. The William Stoltzing family from Bryn Allen Studios. Mr. John Lum from List Group Developers. Mr. David Laxer from Burns Steakhouse. The Board of Directors of the Hillsborough County Towing Association and Todd Stepp, Steps Towing, for also sponsoring Firefighter of the Quarter. They make this all happen, people. Let's say thank you. And then finally, we got the big dogs, the major corporate sponsors that we want to say thank you to for the 19th Annual Tampa Fire Rescue Banquet. Dale Shoemaker from Tampa Bay Federal Credit Union and Jay Bowen from Bowen, Haynes & Company. Thank you so much. And again, this has been my pleasure coming here. It's always a pleasure and honor. You guys are a great audience. And the best thing I can do for you and the best president I can give to you, DJ Anthony Moran's going to take over, and we're going to party. Have a good night, and thank you. Come on, you guys, let's get party. Congratulations.